Hey there, we're going to play the game, the sweeping social media. Do this and not that. The website edition for healthcare practitioners. And when you get to go along and dig into my bag of secret stuff that I have. So if you have a website, your, your presence online, your biggest one that you have the control over is your website. Like social media, Instagram, you can put the content on it, but how it sets up and shows is not under your control. So when it comes to your website, you need to make sure you have that. So on this edition, don't do this, okay? Don't do this, but do this. Don't do this. Hey, this is a do this. Don't do this, but you wanna do this. So what am I talking about? The space above the fold is what we call on your website without scrolling down on mobile or on our desktop, is the space that comes right up. That is your most precious piece of realty because people are not always going to scroll. You might have some great stuff farther down. They're not going to go searching. So your hot property, your hot commodity, what you need people to do is got to be above the fold. Some of these I know, some I don't know, but I'm going to show you what to look out for. These have been sent from so-called experts in the industry, and I want you to have the resources and the power when you make your next decision on anything to do with your website. So this is a not. The folks, the thing they're focusing on right above the phone, you found the most experienced dentist in, and I crossed out his name, in this town because it's not about him. It's about the patients and clients. They need to be your number one focus always on your website. Most precious thing, he's talking about his big inflated head. Nope, 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 nope. And also this town doesn't have that many dentists, so I wouldn't be bragging too much about that. Number two, why is this a yes? Well, this office website is emphasizing same day emergencies. If that's what you're good at, is that what you're known for in your particular practice, then you wanna make sure that's right at the top. Are you affordable? You accept most insurances? I don't like to talk about money most of the time, but this office hits it. This is what they built on. They, they made their 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 name known for that. So it's right up in there. So they're looking for people who are searching the internet. I hope they're doing some advertising about same day emergencies because they're talking about it right there and say, Hey, we can get you in. So this is a yes. If this is what you do, this is a no, this is a typical website. It's about the presence and being one with nature and this relaxing picture and doctors. So-and-so is the best there ever was. And the most modern dentist in the world. Who gives a flying F, okay? It's about the patients. Stop thinking about yourself, your credentials, your office, or even your mug when it comes to that. This is a yes. It's not, not the prettiest website, and it could be prettier. Nobody's perfect, but right above the fold, how can we help you? These are the four major, major reasons someone would call this particular dentist. And I'm giving you a lot of dental because I have a lot of dental in my arsenal, but this goes for any healthcare pr practitioner. What is the four things you're known for in their words? I'm looking for a new dentist. I'm in pain. I'm missing teeth. I can't chew. I want a better smile. They're not talking about veneers. They're not talking about implants. Those are all dental words. They're using nomenclature and languaging that's appropriate for the, for the non-technical uh, person in that field. This person, kudos to them. Next one, putting our patients first. Not necessarily because you put your picture above them and it says expertise and friendliness. Those aren't things you should have to put on your website. Your actions will speak louder than words. So if patients are first, put patients first. Talk about the words you should be using is not your name. It should be uh, us, we, my philosophy, the name of the practice, the name of the provider, name of the doctor. It should be about you, the patient, the client. This is what we want to do for you. That should be the most predominant words and the most used above the fold to get people in. Here's my homegirl, Tisha. She's a sweetie. Hi, this is Tisha. And she says, I'm not, I'm going to teach you how to live your life without joint pain, weight gain, fatigue, chronic disease, and dependence on medication. She put it right out there. She made some bold statements and it's what anybody could understand. She doesn't talk about her uh, degrees as a, a advanced functional nutritionist. She knows her crap. She is bucking the system. She does not talk about her philosophy. She's making it really simple for people. And that's the most common things that they come to her for is right above the fold. 
bing, 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 how to go hold tissue. And she's got some resources there, even if they don't sign up as a patient, so she can build that relationship with them. So that's about it. It's about building that. And then on your website, you can use personal web uh, photos in your about section, but don't wait precious cargo and don't put pictures out of your bedroom. Yes, that is someone's bedrooms. And I have I've, uh, protected the guilty with a happy little smiley face. They even sent me one to my door, to my door. They sent it to me. That's all of their website. They're sending out to thousands of people and I get a picture of them in their bedroom. That's what we call a no. That's a creeper thing. No, 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 no. Make sure your pictures are appropriate. You, that's a beautiful family. Find a good place to do it. Um, share yourself at the appropriate time, but this is not the way to do it and make it happen. So to review, let's, let's, let's bring this up. I want to do it. The website edition, make sure you've got your important stuff about above the fold, fold patient and client focus. So don't teach them everything about your profession and give them a glossary and how to click it. It's more about them, less about you. Use their pain points to interact. What common reasons would they be contacting you for and what are you good at you narrow it down to four and always simplified language simplified language simplified language don't get all technical don't get all jivey with them make sure you can do that make it uh, easy so that is your assignment go back to your website uh print it out look what's above the fold look at it in mobile and also look at it on uh desktop to see because it's very different um, see what you're really sharing, show them what you're going on. That's your assignment. That's what I'm giving you. Go dig in. Let's see what you can do. I'll see you soon. If you want, uh, or my resource on websites and my checklist that I give out, why don't you put it in the comments, just write uh, website or send me a DM and we'll get that resource out to you. Cause this will help you when you go to revamp your website, um, and make sure even in your social media, things like that, you're talking about patients and their needs. 80% of the time and, and a little less about you and what you can do and your credentials and your degree. Bye-bye.